So South Florida will kick off, and Duke Johnson is back. Now, Duke Johnson is one of the best kickoff return men in all of college football, and this is our Wendy's first. He's first in the ACC in kick return average. He's third nationally. And this is his first kickoff return of the ball game, and it will come at the start of the second half. And we'll see if the Bulls are able to kick away from him. Philip Dorsett is back there as well. Johnson has taken two back for scores this year. And Duke has it. He bobbles it at the one. Johnson to the 20, shifts to the left, bounces it outside, stumbles, slips, and ends up right on the ECC logo. At the well, you heard the explanation by Coach Holtz about tempo and trying to not let Miami get set defensively. The one touchdown to Miami is pretty darn good. And South Florida down to their number three quarterback in Matt Floyd. Morris had a, a very good first half. Very much like the season he's having, 12 of 20, 182 yards. And a throw over to the 48. Dorsett with it, they move it out to the 47-yard line. Johnson, tough going. You talked about Grissom the linebacker. His 37th start, senior out of LaGrange, Georgia, number 46. Morris to the air, and that ball's deflected. They were. Able to get to Morris. Morris now 13, 22, 193 yards on third down. And nine, lots of time. Bullet over the middle, it's caught there. Waters. You simply cannot give Morris this kind of time. Twist on the left hand and right hand side, but nobody gets to him. Finds the open space just beyond the linebacker. Devon Johnson. Alan Hearns out with a broken hand. We've seen Hearns in there on a couple of plays, but he hasn't had a ball thrown in his direction. This is Dorsett on a reverse. He's bounced out of bounds. Remember, he would have had two touchdowns had that play stood. The dive by Dorsett where the elbow was down just before the ball broke the plane, and that was before the Duke Johnson fumble. Quick throw on the blitz, picked up nicely. Herb Waters with the catch. That's a quarterback read and a wide receiver read, and they both were on the same page. A lot of times it's referred to as the hot read. Here's the first offensive play of the ball game for Miami. They go right down the field. A little seam route to the outside. Morris on fire. Delivering the ball right on target. You've got to think Miami should be up by about five or six touchdowns. Not the case against this very, very stingy USF defense. Third down three. Morris with a blitz. Again gets rid of it. Again has a completion. Dorsett inside the 10. Morris has most approved on. Remember, he didn't have spring ball. He was uh, recuperating from back surgery. Duke Johnson for the pylon. He holds on this time, and he's in. Same spot where he fumbled at the end of the first half. This time he holds on and Miami gets that touchdown. Same part of the field, same pylon, different result though. And Miami with this odd score of 22-3. Right now lined up, gonna go for two. Morris in the shotgun, rolling right and throwing, and it is through the arms of Dorsett. That's about the only thing he has in caught for the Bulls. This is Shaw. Hurdles a man at the 18 and gets out to the 23-yard line. Here's a look at that last touchdown from Duke Johnson. Well, we call them receivers, but sometimes they have to block. Great block on the outside here. And you're going to see Duke Johnson as designed. You've got to outflank this guy. That's the way it's drawn up. You rely on the running back to make the football. first guy there. Morris yeah. and a couple of juniors. Morris has had plenty of time today. Marcus Shaw made the carry. And certainly when you talk about the legacy of Miami football, his isn't the sexiest of names, but he's been here a long time and, and accomplished an awful lot. Those that know college football know that this guy is amongst the best at what he does. 
Well, now let's see if Matt Floyd can move the offense. Demetrius Murray in the backfield. A second down and five. Floyd to the sideline. It's caught there by Devari. Hey, oh, my God. the wishbone. Got the full house behind him. Floyd on play action. Little pop and throw. And he's got a catch. Midfield, Jeff Hawkins out of Ocala, Florida. So Hawkins, his first touch of the season. And the Bulls are on the move. Murray. They knew he didn't have a touch. Floyd will screen pass. Nicely set for Murray and blown up. Coming up to stop it. This is two fumble recoveries for Chicolo. Third down and 14. And Floyd's throw overshoots Victor Mark. He has a 50 yarder as his exactly. career long. It's always the little thing, isn't it? High, high punt. Fair catch called for and made. Philip Dorsett seems to be in on everything special teams, offense. Replays, 22-3, Miami. First and 10, Miami with the football and the lead. In a matchup of ACC Big East teams, Miami a 6-3 win in Tampa against South Florida last year. Morris is going deep, flag is down, it's caught! It's Waters, he's gone! at the 12 yard line 87 yards if it stands offside defense penalty is declined touchdown it stands miscommunication in the backfield for usf pressure up front but their safeties did not get over and rotate very nearly overthrown by Morris, but a great outstretch of the hands. Well, Stephen Morris, the quarterback, about that. I said, how are you feeling? Who do you have left out there? And he specifically mentioned Waters. He said, watch out for this freshman. He is special. Again, Miami goes for two into the corner. Caught Dorsett. Two points. Stephen Morris. This the touchdown. Nobody within 10, 12 yards of Waters. And as you call Dorsett, getting in on everything here, Rich. 87 yards. That's my, That's my conference rule. They would automatically be ineligible to participate. Marcus Shaw takes the knee, but as Al Golden, don't told be him, paralyzed by all that is swirling around and all that you can't control. And I think Miami has uh, certainly handled that today against USF. And he felt like did Al Golden that he didn't do a good job of preaching that to the kids the week prior, and that's why Virginia almost snuck up on him in that loss. Yeah, Golden didn't pin it on his team. He, Pinned it on himself and his staff. And then you go two and ten. Floyd, little duck pass. And it's caught by Marcus Shaw with more Wait, on that. Disaster Here's strikes again and again. So you can kind of see how that might fit. Floyd's throw is batted down and incomplete. Now, Jen, we did a little bit of research. In case of success. And Coach Golden said to his guys, hey, you guys are the ones who answered the ad. You signed up for this expedition. You've got a chance to get us out of this mess. And, you know, he's very reflective when talking about an overtime win. Evil got the start today and was knocked out of the game in the first quarter by Denzel Perryman of Miami. Now Morris to work. Fires it out. Dorsett with the catch. Morris continues at 40 yards, two touchdowns, and no picks. In his ability to, to run this offense, again, both before snap and after the snap, was someone lost, impressive. Someone lost a helmet right in the middle of that. Why that no call. That was Ryan Giddens. Second down, eight. Miami on the move. Duke Johnson, the carry. 
And Johnson to the 48. He touches the ball. You've got to hold your breath. Third down. Morris shotgun. Quick pop. And that one is in and out of the hands of Herb Waters. It's a 7 o'clock kick. He's texting at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning. Mitchell lets it land and it checks back up. That should be a flag. That's interference. To play Cincinnati and then home against Pittsburgh. Play action. Sean Price, the talented freshman tight end out of Citroen. Man with the pick on Floyd. Let's keep it on the ground with Marcus Shaw. First and Second down and five, Marcus Shaw behind Floyd, reverses course and falls forward. Flag goes down. That may be in a face mask. A shoulder injury. He looked like he was in an awful lot of pain. He's returned to the sideline. Floyd's throw, and that's in and out of the hands of Terrence Mitchell. Lands of the second yeah. quarter. That one is caught shy of the first down. Price the tight end. San Diego State, Houston, third down. And it's incomplete. Fly goes down. Chicolo uh -oh. has his hands up. Foul. Roughing the passer, defense number 71. 15 yard penalty, first down. Chicolo pleading his case. What he got flagged for is he continued to move his legs. If he'd have just hit him and fallen off of him, he'd have been fine. Two and a half minutes left, third quarter. Floyd, a pump fake throw to the sideline, and it's incomplete. Good coverage there by Rayshon Jenkins. A wild ride this year with no team standing out and going into the, the final week next Duke week. Count. Big third down right here. Floyd dumps it off and it drops. The for USF out of Brazil came to the United States when he was 11. He misses that field goal though. His second miss of the day. Morris with James in the backfield and a dart to Dorsett who collapses at the 30 while making the catch and failed on third downs failed late in the fourth quarter and lost on the road against Virginia now of course they were facing there's a Floyd on the sidelines third down short Morris rolling Johnson the catch right at the sticks he's hit falls forward and he's well guys just wanted to talk a little bit about Duke Johnson thought it was so impressive and we got a chance to speak with Al Golden yesterday as Duke does so many things for this team and he said you know coach Golden said look where we are we're in the Edron James room we're in the Clinton Portis wing and Duke Johnson knows about the history of Miami and he embraces it he doesn't back down from it he accepts that challenge and he wants to eventually be mentioned along with those other big names in Miami football history yeah he's embraced it and you know when they were recruiting him, they had a pretty good idea he was coming to the University of Miami now I think of your South Florida though they haven't given up that really big play to Duke Johnson he's been effective but he hasn't been explosive and that's what he's known for and as we've mentioned a couple of times whether they're backed up whether they're in third or first down it really doesn't matter whether they're kicking off Anytime he can get his hands on the ball, he has a chance of going the distance. He's one of those guys that can do it from any yeah. position on the field. What a tough break. Evel redshirting all year long with the injury to B.J. Daniels. They pulled the red shirt. He started the game, and now his season may be over, and he may end up losing that year. Uh, they've been out on the field an awful lot. Chris Kosh, the defensive coordinator. Morris pressured and throws it away. With an offensive. Morris has lots of time. Pump fake, tucks it, still looking. Wide open, man open, caught there. Clive Wolford again. Touchdown, Miami, 65 yards. What point? 
poise by Stephen Morris. Walford has been in on three big plays for Miami. And this is an unbelievable job right there by Morris. If he throws that ball, it's a pick six going the other way. We saw a flashing bull defender all over Duke Johnson. Alertly pulls it down, looks up field, turns six points going that way to six points going his way. And Morris was hit on two long touchdowns now from a, uh, a nice day to a huge day for the junior quarterback at a Monsignor Pace High School here in Miami. Thanks, Andre. Miami looks awful good. Clive Walford on the phone. Three catches for Walford for 135 yards. And he's one of three receivers for Miami, all over 100 yards. Herb Walters with 130, and Dorsett now with an even 100. And of course, if you add those numbers up, you know that uh, Stephen Morris has had a terrific day. He's thrown for well over 400 yards. Keep your eye on the running back over here and the corner. This is a great decision by Morris to not throw the ball. Because when he turns to look outside, he throws the ball right there. This guy's going to intercept it and take it for six. He pulls it down, squirts outside, gets his hands up. Look down here. Yeah, Walford stayed in the pattern. You could see the safeties drawn up by the pump fake. Remember, Walt, remember the day started with the two offensive tackles lined up out at wide receiver spot, and Walford ran right down the middle unchecked and made the catch that kind of set the tone 413 passing yards on the day for Miami nice move there and a good spin by Floyd still a quarterback Bobby Evel knocked out of the game with a left shoulder injury early in that first half almost picked off and deflected back the call to Murray who makes the catch and has a first down Murray kind of just be getting two more games left Two big East games left for the Bulls. Shoulder injury didn't look great. You would think it will be Floyd the rest of the way. Murray on second down and short has a first down. Kelvin Kane for Miami. Murray three yards shy of 100. Eddie Johnson made the stop. Let's check it. He was yelling at him, telling him they need to finish, they need to learn from it. We'll see if they did. Floyd, a nice, easy throw. Good. And that was a painful one for Miami at Virginia. Shaw bounces it outside and then hops over the 10 yard line. First to go from the nine. Shaw spun around. Tyreek McCord for the for the games these two schools play they get after each other ball picked up Floyd flips it through the end zone it's incomplete here's a third down in the red zone USF is three of ten on third downs coming in can the Hurricanes come up with a stop Floyd lots of time end zone incomplete and at the same time, these are the situations that Skip Holtz and his offense. This one he knocks through. Second field goal for USF. And Miami's lead 37 to six. They got to start. That was a game time decision according to the coaches. Eveld and Matt Floyd split time for two weeks. After the injury to B.J. Daniels and the win over UConn. But Eveld, a left shoulder injury, left the game and appeared to be in some pain well, when he sure left. Tough thing for Eveld to say he was willing to have it pulled, and you just feel, you feel sick given the situation as it exists right now. Dorsett scampers out of bounds. Ryan Williams is in at quarterback. And so the, the day is done for Stephen Morris. There's a look at Williams, a redshirt sophomore, transfer from Memphis. He's out of Pembroke Pines, well, nearby Pembroke, Pembroke Pines. As a freshman, he started 10 or 11 games, maybe 12 games from Memphis. You're right, he had 10 starts at Memphis. So he's game tested. James right side. Wow. Oh my goodness. Steamrolls. 
Dallas Crawford in the ball game for Miami and a short throw. Nice catch by Dorsett who was hit at Virginia. Movement flags no whistles though play is still going Williams fires it down the sideline and a diving tremendous catch Kendall Tompkins for somebody only had two catches the entire year he has been he has put on a clinic that's been one of the stories of this game here's a look wow you talk about a great grab, 37 yards. That's one of the stories. Rashawn Scott suspended. Devon Johnson out with a knee injury. Alan Hearns a broken hand. He's out. Remember what the reads are, regardless of personnel. I'm going to throw it to whoever's wearing an orange jersey. Second and two. And Williams a little dump for Crawford. And it's incomplete. It's one of those, I got it, you take it. No, I want it back. Look at this catch one more time. That's not bad coverage. They are indeed called receivers. Third down nine. See Miami well over 500 total yards. Quick screen, Garrett Kidd, another freshman. If they are bowl eligible and barring a miraculous comeback, they're going to be here in seven minutes. Will the university for the second year in a row? And it came after the, the USF game last year where they decided to self-impose. If they self-impose, then... No ACC title shot. And no break. 646 left. You have South Beach written all over you. <laughs> you know, everybody I run into, that's the first thing they yeah, say you about you. with the football. They're on 35. Murray in the backfield. Murray hit as he got to the line of scrimmage, falls forward, and he's over 100 yards now. Rafael Kirby, the freshman, made the You're stop. You're fine, Mugels, and I talked to Steven about it, and he said, you know what? I didn't sign up to be a quarterback to be a star. I'm okay with being in the background. I don't need the limelight. Now, he understands that all comes with it, but he told me, I'm just proud to be here doing my job. And Jen and Keith, maybe that's why he is overlooked and, and overshadowed in a, in a conference that is quarterback. His strong. feet, his poise. Floyd trying to move the offense for USF. Has his target. It's Murray to the 36-yard line. Fly goes down late. Here's Morris's day. Now he's accumulated some of these 413 passing yards. And we've talked about it during the ball game. Yeah, he's got the big arm, and yeah, he's got the big numbers. After the play was over, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 44, 15-yard penalty, first down. But the other thing he does, Rich, that, that you have to really pay attention to to see is decision-making before the snap, getting them out of bad plays, getting them into better ones, and then as we saw when he pulls the ball down, escapes, and still keeps his vision downfield, his decision-making after the snap in terms of protecting the ball and getting it into his playmaker hands. You see that 538 yards, 456 of it through the air. Floyd's throw is incomplete. Remember last year, a five and seven finish. Davis on the catch, and Davis out of bounds at the 42 yard line. And again, Murray. Fourth down and short, USF's going to go for it on a sneak. And Floyd follows uh, Austin Ryder, his sophomore center. Straight up. Got a very fine prospect at the tight end position at Sean Price. That throw short. Georgia Tech leading Duke late in that ballgame, 35-24. That game in Atlanta. Miami at Duke. To finish off the regular season, at least what they did last year. 
Not a bad throw, and flags follow. Sean Price, the tight end you were talking about, was the intended receiver. This has been very hard to figure out. 68 points against Carolina. Now you've seen him twice. We had the, uh, the BYU game together. And it's an overused phrase only because many teams display it, but certainly there's been a continued fight with the total yards at the quarterback spot. Evel knocked out early. Floyd going the rest of the way. That went too high for my year. Don't go there. That's <laughs> all right. I won't. 32 yards. When last we left, Mike Hunt. Bonatti, he was ready to kick a field goal. And he boots this one and just gets it inside that left upright. Not a problem. They'll find some others, but not a situation you want to find yourself in. That kick deep into the end zone. And I think that they will go a long way towards helping mediate some of the sanctions that may potentially be coming their way. They're looking to the future not the present. To lose players to suspensions both this year as well as remember last year, lengthy suspensions, and to continue to keep these kids motivated, fighting hard, continue to win significant ball games, I think is a, is a remarkable uh, job by Coach Golden and his staff, and hats off to them. Over 400. Miami keeps it on the ground. And they're still playing, folks. You can hear that hit all the way up here. Final seconds off the clock. Al Golden and Miami are bowl eligible. Whether they accept and end up there is another question. But an impressive effort for Skip Holtz and USF behind the eight ball to begin with without B.J. Daniels and then losing Bobby Evel, they were really put in a tough position. And, and I think uh, it's very difficult to overcome those types of things. The one thing I look for, do the kids continue to play or are they quitting on the coach? That was not the case for you. Football USF. Saturday crew. I'm Rich Waltz. All about the U. Miami impressively beats South Florida 40 to 9.